We are on our way to the Bill and Hillary Clinton Airport. Oh no. Otherwise known as the Hillbilly Airport. And from here we will be taking off into the wild blue yonder. There's the airport from the distance. What airplane are we taking, John? We're taking Southwest Airlines? Yeah. All right, Southwest. I'm a leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. I went to the danger zone. Back to the danger zone. Heading into twilight, spreading out her wings tonight. Well, it's been a couple of hours. We are beginning our descent. Those clouds are so cool. It's almost like you can reach out and grab you some. Just walk on them, you know? Is that the neatest thing? Phoenix, Arizona. Well, Phoenix has a, an interesting parking deck. The way it goes swirling around and around. A couple of them side by side, and then there's an extension over here where the flat ones are. Kind of neat, huh? We're on a motorized walkway right now. I just don't feel like walking, neither does my boy. <laughs> So we're being lazy. We're being lazy today, aren't we, boy? Yes, we are. <laughs> Here's a little closer view. You can see the cars all going up in there to enter. Kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. There goes a red truck up in there. Look at that. I didn't know the wife was on board. Right there, wifey on board. <laughs> but guess what? We're not staying in Phoenix. We're leaving. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. And here we are. Landing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That was laughs> Let me try video. this again. I don't get a big kick out of this on my YouTube video. How is that for okay, a San Jose, California. <laughs> Destination. Touchdown. Well, we are in the big city, people. John, do you have any idea where we're at? Uh, not a clue. <laughs> Either do I. You think we'll figure it out? Yes. Okay, we'll good. Before we come back. Okay, good. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you guys, we're not in Kansas anymore, and we're not in Conway. <laughs> Holy mackerel, look at that mess. Oh, my Lord. 
All right, we're gonna head down this street here. Now here's something somebody out there on YouTube that watches my videos will recognize. I'm sure you will. We got the corner market, we got the farmer's market, we got the public market center. <laughs> well, here we are inside the market, walking from place to place. Cool. Still wandering. It just keeps going on and on, even further down into the depths. Now here's something for you, the Giant Shoe Museum. You put money in those boxes and you step on the steps if you're a small kid and you look through those holes to see the shoes. Oh wow, I want to do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've been kind of wondering why this place is so busy. All of a sudden, a cruise ship came in. It's called the Norwegian Pearl. All these people are off that ship. Fun stuff here. Here's something you don't see very often. Big sucker. We've decided to have lunch at a little, uh, looks like a Korean restaurant to me. And that's the name of it right there. <laughs> I, mean, I think I'm gonna get myself some, uh, some Pike Place fried rice with pork. That sounds pretty good. Of course, I could always get the appetizer too. We got this little appetizer here. Pike Place combination plate. Chicken wings, egg roll, barbecue. I kind of like that too. But that's just an appetizer. Prices aren't too bad. Could be worse. Now this is pretty good. Fried rice, General Tao chicken, and an egg roll. A little bit of salad. Really good stuff. Man, this tastes great. This, this fried rice is really delicious. What you are looking at is a wall of gum. People stuck their gum there. It's called a gum wall. Check this out. Nothing but gum. Oh, Lord. They chew it and stick it. Ugh. And if you think that's all, wrong again. It's on the other side, too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Gum all the way down. Look at that. Uh, John, you're interfering with my filming here, you bozo. Oh my goodness, it goes way down here. Look at this. I guess you can just come here and stick your gum everywhere. The gum wall. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. You gotta get closer here where the, where the light is. Oh man, it goes all the way down. I imagine someday this whole thing will be full of gum. People stick their names here and who put the gum up? <laughs> oh, it goes way up. <laughs> How on earth did they get it up here? They must have thrown it. Oh Lord, check that out. There's a window you don't want to lean out of, excuse me. That's a window you don't want to lean out, no. Nope. <laughs> and this is a doorway you don't want to come out. <laughs> this is almost unreal. Holy, I've never heard of such a thing. Here's another window. Check this out. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> Isn't it amazing all the information I bring to you guys on my mishmash videos? <laughs> we are on the monorail and we are going to go someplace. This is pretty slick. Lots of buildings everywhere. All right, we're just about at our destination. Maybe another minute or so. And the last turn. Coming into a little cave-like structure. This is cool. 
I've never ridden a monorail, I don't think. I might have, I just don't remember. You'd think I'd remember something like that. And coming into the station, to our destination. Station, destination, I should have been a poet. And for those of you who haven't quite figured out where we're at yet, here's your final clue. Star Wars guy. <laughs> That's right, Seattle, Washington. Here's something that's really interesting I've never run into before. This is a big old giant building. And it is, it goes all the way down here like this. DMP Museum. What is it? DMP Museum. The DMP Museum. EMP. E EMP e Museum, whatever. Anyway, it goes all the way over here. The sun reflects off of there. And I was sitting right here, and it was burning the back of my neck. There's the reflection of it down there in the ground. I said, man, it's awfully hot in the back of my neck. I had to move out of the way of it. Yeah, John, get over there. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's a lot of heat there. Yeah, it was hot. This is one of the support legs for this space needle that goes up. Look at the size of these. Look at, first of all, look at the thickness of this steel. Holy mackerel. And then, of course, these bolts. I think John said these bolts go, what would you say, 16 feet? The, the it's rods. actually deeper. It's really deep. Really like deep 40, into the ground. 48, 60 feet, I think. I'll wow. have to read on it. That's a big sucker. We're inside the Space Needle. We have walked up this ramp here all the way up. We're the next group to go in. And we will go in, I think, down around that way and pick up the elevators and go up. This is the gift shop down here. I just blew a wad. This is the elevator we will be going up in. They cut us off right here. They let the group go through and then cut John and I off right here. What's the been you, John? Did you not look at them good or something? They just cut us off and put the rope up. But anyway, we're next to go in. And we are on the elevator. The top traveling up at 10 miles an hour for you. Now, the Space Needle was built back in 1962 to be the centerpiece for the World's Fair that year. Held all below us on the Seattle Center. It's where they debuted both the microwave oven and the touchstone telephone of the world. So you're welcome. The total height of the building is 605 feet or 184 meters. That's at the very tip of the antenna, it's equivalent to a 60-story building. Now, back when it was first built, it was the tallest building west of the Mississippi River. Now it's the seventh tallest building in Seattle. Once you come out of the elevator, you can uh, hang around up here if you want, or go down this ramp, and it takes you out to the very edge of the place. So here we are, at the very edge, looking at Seattle. This is too cool, too cool. You can stay up here as long as you want, the man said, until they close at midnight. Man, I'll tell you what, I don't particularly care for heights. Fortunately, this is all thick plastic, except for right here. <laughs> There's nothing there. I better hang on this bar. <laughs> Holy mackerel. And another shot. Man, I'll tell you what, we are up in the air. Whew. I hope that helicopter decides not to come our way. And still another view. It's amazing, huh? Big city. Big city. You're only seeing a portion of it. 
last view of the city. Our, our new, uh, we've got a new service of from Union Station downtown right up to the airport. Yeah, just, yeah. Facebook would do that. Pretty pricey. Here's something that's cool. This giant bulb. Give you an idea how big it is. And here's where it's at. It will blink. It's supposed to blink, I thought. Maybe not. I see. I guess you got to press this button here. <laughs> Let's try it. There we go. Here's something that's uh, kind of cool. That's amazing. 407 days. And it's back down. No, it's all haze from the forest fires. Back to the bottom. And it's back to the car where we're parked. This is the hotel we're staying in, the uh, Holiday Inn Express. I really like these uh, Holiday Inn Express outfits, you know. First of all, the price is always right, and they're very clean, and they're, either, and they're plentiful around the country, and you can usually get a room. Uh, I really like it. Uh, in, in the city, towards Seattle, you can pay $280 a night on up. Uh, out here in the outskirts of the city, at an Express, about 80 bucks a, a night, which is a whole lot better. I like these places. They got pretty good breakfast, and they have an outstanding crew that run these places. I don't know where they get them at, but I've never seen a bad one yet. Even up here in Washington State, I find a little doggy to walk around. She, it's a she. It's a small baby. Uh, it's called a pit lab, I guess. And uh, she was kind of gun shy in the beginning. She didn't want, didn't know me from Adam. And uh, a little bit of bacon and a little bit of sausage from the breakfast uh, they serve here. That made her my friend <laughs> in a big hurry. So her name is Soho, S-O-H-O. -O. I always come down every morning and give her a little walk for one of the owners here. She's a cutie. Whoop, whoop, she wants to run. She don't like getting water on her, starting to sprinkle. It's always believed that the Northwest, the part of the United States is, you know, up around Washington and Oregon. It's always uh, overcast and rainy. It rains a lot. Well, I'll tell you what, as you can see, the brown grass. The brown is everywhere, even up on the mountainside up there. Lately, they've had nothing but droughts. And uh, they've had a lot of fires in the state up here, too. This particular area has an awful lot of trucks that get off at this exit. And we finally discovered why the other day. It's a constant flow of trucks along this road here. And over, over just just the other side of this bush is a, are a whole bunch of warehouses, distribution centers. And all these uh, trucks come in and deliver, you know, they pick up and deliver all day long. Constant noise, but you don't hear a thing inside the hotel. Very quiet. They did a good job there. But anyway, it's been raining the last couple days, and boy, I'll tell you what, the people up here are very happy for it. Turning with our back to the hotel on the other side of the highway is all these really beautiful trees, evergreen trees. Matter of fact, the state of Washington is the evergreen state. And everywhere we went, we saw lots of beautiful spruce trees, pine trees, all kinds of stuff. I'd hate to see all this stuff dry up for lack of water. While here, we found a really cool pizza place. It's called uh, The Rock Wood Fired Pizza. Pretty neat place, actually. We had pizza here the other day, and my son immediately adopted it as one of his favorite places to eat. Well, the vacation is over, and it's about time to leave Seattle. Someday, wifey and I will be taking uh, an Alaskan cruise. Chances are we'll be flying on one of these uh, type of Alaskan airline planes at some point in the future. 
And here we go, leaving Seattle. something interesting. Look at all the sun is hitting all those little lakes and ponds as far as you can see. They're all just glistening in, in the sunlight. Kind of neat. It's been about three and a half hours. We're getting ready to land. at night. Watch my videos I told you I'd be gone for a couple of weeks well there's where we went my son and I had a pretty good time and uh, I hope you got a little I hope some of it interested you there were some things on there like that gum wall just just blew my mind when I saw it I, I had you know you think you hear about something like that at some point in your life especially at my age but there's a gum wall up in Seattle <laughs> no one ever mentioned this thing at all anywhere I've never seen it on the internet I've never no one ever talked to me about it that, that I was I was shocked. By the way, around the corner from the gum wall, there's a little there's a little store there that sells chewing gum that you can buy to stick on the wall. You know, did I buy any? No, I didn't get anywhere near that wall. I just kind of went down and filmed it. I was not about to touch anything there. <laughs> anyway, I had a good time. I hope you enjoyed some of it. Uh, you, for those of you again who are watching my videos. Uh, you know that we're in the midst of still repairing the 1956 Sylvania Halo Light television and we kind of left off on it so I could take this trip and uh, we'll be getting back to that very soon. So until then, until next time, this is John.